Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a huge grocery haul. Well, it's huge for my family anyways. And I also have some food prep motivation. I will be prepping some dinner meals as well as some breakfast meals. I hope you stay tuned. So let's jump right in guys. I've got some bow tie pasta. I plan to make chili mac. I switch up the type of pasta I use so my kids don't get bored and complain. I've got some muffins. I've got the street taco tortillas and some bagels for a quick breakfast. My daughter absolutely loves spicy noodles so I grab a couple of those. We've got hot dog buns here. Of course some trash bags and coffee. Um, I'm trying now out the blonde um, roast. It's a Walmart brand. It's not half bad to tell you the truth. I've got two dozens of eggs, foil of course. I also got some hazelnut. That's my favorite. The long grain rice. I've got some hot dogs here and a couple of toys for Rosie and Luna. Potatoes of course, shampoo, and this um, Walmart brand of body wash smells amazing. I've got some fish fillets for a quick dinner when I'm just not in the mood to cook. I've got lunch meat for, you know, our lunches throughout the day. And I've got some um, seasoning packets, some gravy packets for different meals that I have planned throughout the month. I've got this huge thing of uh, fruit snacks. Um, not something I usually buy for my kids, but I wanted to treat them. Um, of course, Kool-Aid. Um, I've got this tray of cheeses, which is for me. Um, and I've got all these peppers here. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to make a base for a soup by just putting them in my Ninja. I've got canola oil, of course, a couple of packs of cookie mix. The kids love making cookies on their own. And it's a cheaper alternative than just buying a pack of Oreos. I've got bananas, some of that coffee creamer from Starbucks, the white mocha. I've got this huge bag of chips as well as some uh, pasta sauce you saw there and tartar sauce. I've got two loaves of bread because, you know, the kids being home and not going to school, we go through so much sandwiches for lunches. I've got some ricotta cheese, which I've got a, a meal plan for that. These uh, cooked shrimp here, I plan to make some um, shrimp fajitas. I got this shredded chicken. Usually I shred my own chicken after I bake it, but um, there's just, Today at Walmart, I don't know what was going on. They were completely out of chicken. And I mean that literally, like no chicken. So I just had to get that. Here I've got a big old bag of cereal, um, two apple sauces. Um, I've got here, you know, milk as well as orange juice, paper towels, and toilet tissue can never go wrong. Just getting extra and stocking up. And all of my sparkling water here. Now moving on uh, behind the bar area, I've got um, some kale. Uh, surprisingly, my kids love kale. Um, it might be because I season it with bacon, but they really do enjoy it. Corn on the cob, different sliced cheeses for grilled cheeses for the lunch, bacon and sausage. Um, of course, ground beef. Um, back here, I've got this ginger garlic um, prep, you know, uh, stir fry. I'm really excited to taste that. I've got some of the Italian sausages for spaghetti and the meatballs as well. And I absolutely love having fried wingettes, so I got a huge bag of those. So you guys, um, it's the next day. Um, all the groceries have been put away. I have had a decent night of rest. I'm not gonna say good, but you know, you're a mom. You guys totally get it. But um, yeah, so what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna jump into um, some food prep. I have a couple of breakfast dishes that I want to freeze and also a couple of dinner. Um, now that I'm getting settled you know, into a routine, I'm pretty much moved in, um, unpacked everything, did a little bit of decorating. And um, now that my husband has been gone for a few weeks, I just wanna settle into a good routine and um, get the kids settled into, and just get back to all the things that I used to do as far as, you know, taking care of my home. So let's get started with these meals, you guys. 
So you guys, the first thing that I'm going to prep is a base for a stewed chicken that I'm trying to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these yellow, the red, green peppers, onions, as well as some cilantro. And I'm just going to chop them up, not very finely. I am just giving them, you know, some rough cuts because I'm just going to throw them into my ninja. And they are going to be, as I said, the base for a stewed chicken. I learned this recipe when I was uh, like almost newly married. Um, at the time, me and my husband were living with our in-laws and this is something that my mother-in-law showed me how to do. So whenever I'm doing my meal prep, I always like to brown my meats first. Um, they're so fast, it's easy to sit to the side and it keeps well. Um, I also have this pasta on the stove, which I will be prepping for tomorrow's meal actually. You guys know, I've said it before, I do not like to freeze pasta. I just don't feel it comes out right the second day. So I'm just going to boil it and keep it in the fridge for tomorrow's dinner. So here I'm just adding a couple of spoonfuls of garlic to my chopped veggies in the Ninja. I'm also going to add some chicken broth and I'm just going to um, whip it all together for a little while till it gets really, really um, soupy and then I'm going to put it in the Tupperware to freeze. Now what I can give you guys in the description are probably some loose recipes. I don't measure anything. Um, I go by taste and smell and, and just, you know, I guess just memory of things, but I don't measure it. But I will do my best to go down in the description box and give a little bit more details. So now what I have in my a gallon size Ziploc is um, I put a napkin down at the bottom because of course pasta sweats. And also I'm going to put the ground beef on top and I'm just gonna sit this in the refrigerator for tomorrow's meal. And as you all can see there in my Tupperware, I have all of the veggies blended for my stewed base. So off camera, you guys, I just cubed these potatoes because this is going to be for tomorrow's breakfast. I don't like freezing starches in general, so um, I just cube them up for tomorrow morning. I will bake those, and I plan on making a, a potato bowl for breakfast. Here goes the crumbled sausage that I browned, and those will just be in the refrigerator. The next meal I'm going to prep is a breakfast one, and it's going to be egg bites. Now I have done this before on a previous meal prep video, but my family absolutely loves it, so here we go again. So what I have are my seasonings in the back, just the basics, garlic, salt, pepper, and onion. Um, I have six eggs. I will be having um, some of the Italian cheese blend that I have in both bowls, some ricotta cheese, and in my ramekin, I have onions, tomatoes, and cilantro. So it is pretty late in the evening. It's really hard to get work done where the kids are up and moving. So as you all saw, my cup of coffee is keeping me going. So as you all can see, I'm just gonna put everything in the mixing bowl here. Um, a healthier way to make this, I guess, would be with just egg whites. And I really don't know if you can make it without the ricotta cheese. I know it won't be as full, um, I guess. Cottage cheese, if you use like a 1%, might be a more healthy alternative. Um, you guys know I am not the most healthy eater. I am really big on portion control versus limiting myself on eating foods that I enjoy. So...
So as I put these in the oven at 370 to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, I'm gonna start here on my meatloaf. And for uh, me and my kids, about a pound and a half will do. That'll probably still give us some leftovers, actually. But um, I'm going to put it in here in this mixing bowl. I already have the breadcrumbs at the bottom. And in the ramekin that I have, I have garlic, green peppers, and onions. And the seasonings that I will be adding are salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic, and some Worcestershire sauce. I'll also be adding an egg just to mold everything and keep it together. So I know this next step, some people might find a little unnerving. I will be mashing all of this raw red meat with my hands. Now, if Ina Garna can do it, then it must not be that bad. I don't know, I'm really old fashioned like that. Um, I just believe in bleach and soap and water after you deal with raw meat. I can't really work with food and gloves on my hand. It's just so uncomfortable for me. This is the way my grandmother did it and my mother did it. And this is just the way I'm going to be doing it. So now that I've molded it and put it in my little um, pan here, I'm just going to put some foil on top and put it in the freezer for another day. So now I'm going to be moving on to my waffle mix. Um, I just used some box pancake mix here. Um, I added a little bit of sugar and right now you're going to see me add um, a bit of cinnamon and you know egg and as far as adding the liquid I really don't like to add water. Um, right here I'm using milk and I might Put a little bit of water in it but whenever I'm baking or making anything from a box I just like to keep it as old school as possible and use some milk So you guys, my egg bites are done. I'm just gonna sit them up here beside my uh, waffle mix to cool before I put them in the freezer. So getting started making the waffles. Um, this waffle maker, I don't know where it came from. It is a hand-me-down for me. Um, my sister is an amazing cook and she's an amazing uh, baker. And I just wait for her to get an upgrade on all her equipment. I really don't have to buy too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, she hands me down everything she gets bored with or just doesn't want anymore and I patiently wait for those items but um, anyway it's amazing as you all can see it can make two waffles at the same time and the waffles are huge so uh, here's the first one all finished and so I'm just going to let them cool right here on the plate and when I'm all done, what I'm going to do is put them in the freezer. And um, it's just like Eggo waffles. The next day, you could put them in the toaster or in the oven, and they're just as good, except they're homemade, so better. That's what my mama said. 
So now I'm just gonna package up the egg bites in the gallon size bag. I'm just folding up a thin piece of foil to go in between them. So whenever I take them out after freezing them and I pop them in the oven, that they'll be easier to manage and not stuck together. And I will also be doing the exact same thing for the waffles. As I package them, I want you know a piece of foil to go in between each waffle so that then it's not stuck together and doesn't break apart too easily. So you guys, it's the next day and I just wanted to show you the meals in action. So um, I'm going to take out the uh, ground beef in the pasta that I made last night and I had, you know, just store in the refrigerator. I'm going to throw, of course, a napkin away that I want it in there to absorb all the condensation. And I'm gonna pop that in the microwave as I make the cheese sauce. Um, I'm just gonna use one of the uh, ragu cheese sauces and I'm just gonna add quite a bit of seasoning uh, to it. I like to do semi-homemade, you know, start with a base and just doctor it up. So I have plenty of garlic as usual, salt and pepper. And I'm also going to add some shredded cheese. Actually, I added a touch of cumin and chili powder, of course, because it's a ton of chili powder because it's chili mac and some shredded cheese. And I add just a thin amount of milk just so that it's, you know, pliable and I can stir it easy and not too thick because I am adding, you know, the shredded cheese on top of that cheese sauce. So you guys, this took me a total of, let's say 15 minutes, and that's just letting all of the cheese and the ingredients simmer and melt together. It was so easy. This is the perfect plan for a weeknight meal. And here it is, guys. I just plated it up with some sliced apples and the kids loved it. And here is the breakfast bites. I paired that with grapes and some fried hash browns and everyone loved that meal as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video, got some inspiration, and I'll see you in the next one.